Hi, this is Wagner Kamakura. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Kate, Kamakura's analytic tools for Excel. The first thing you need to do to install Kate is to make sure that you have a full installation of Office 2010 or newer. Kate will only work on Windows PCs or laptops. It won't work on some managed installations of Office 365. It also won't work on Apple machines. So that's the very first requirement to make sure that you have a full installation of Office 2010 with all the Excel features. So make sure that your Excel is ready to run VBA and add-ins. Make sure that you have an LS2 pack and an LS2 pack VBA already installed. Later, I'll show you how you can verify that. That's the first step. Second step, download by tools, and I'll show you where you can find it. And you're going to download a folder called Kamakura Analytic Install, a, a zipped folder. Unzip that folder into an empty folder, call it, pick any name, any name you want. And you'll see several files plus a subfolder called add-ins. Next step is really important. Make sure that this folder that you named, pick any name, and its subfolder, are added to the trusted locations in Microsoft Excel Trust Center. Without that step, Excel will not acknowledge Kate. Double click on a macro called install Kamakura Analytic Tools.xlsm, and that will run the installation macro. It will ask you to select which tools you want to install. So pick a few tools that you know you're going to use. And later on, if you want to add more tools, you can run the same macro again and add more tools. You must keep this folder, the one that you name, pick any name, and its subfolder until you decide to uninstall Kate. So Kate will rely on that particular folder and the subfolder to run everything. So you should keep it until you are ready to uninstall it. And to un uninstall it, go to the pick any name directory, double click on uninstall Kamakura Analytic Tools dot XLSM. That will run the macro to uninstall. After you have done that, then you can delete the pick any name folder. As you recall, the first step to ensure that you can install Kate is to check whether your Excel already has the VBA and add-in tools required. And you can do this very easily by opening any Excel sheet, even an empty one. Go to File, Options, Add-ins, look at the Excel Add-ins, go, and you should see these two packs, Analysis 2-Pack and Analysis 2-Pack VBA. Without these two packs, Kate will not run in your Excel. Your Excel should have these two two packs before you can install Kate. So you should have that before you try the installation. Once you verify that your Excel is ready for it, you can download Kate from the web. All you have to do is to do a search on Kamakura Analytic Tools for Excel, and you should find this particular place here, Kate Kamakura Analytic Tools for Excel. Click on it, and you get into my personal web page. And as you scroll down there, there is a tutorial, this tutorial explaining how to install it. Some example of one basic text mining tool that is available inside Kate. And here it is. If you click here, that will download the installation folder, the zipped folder. And I'm going to check for it in the download folder. So you're going to see this zip file called Kamakura Analytics install zip. Now, if you didn't get to this point, where can you find the folder that you just downloaded? Go to your user, downloads, and there it is. Then you unzip it. These are the contents of the Kamakura Analytics install. I'm going to copy everything, control copy, and I'm going to copy everything into a folder that I already created that I named pick any name. Here's my, the new folder that I had created, and I'm going to copy everything here. Control V. So now this folder, pick any name, contains everything that Kate is going to need 
to run any of the analytic tools available. And contains also an example. So this is a large file containing multiple sheets. Each sheet contains one example for one each one of the tools. This is the macro that will install Kate. This is a macro to uninstall. So again, you have to remember that once installed Kate, you should keep this directory, pick any name, do not erase it. You should only erase the folder, pick any name after you uninstalled when you are done with it. If you don't want to use Kate anymore, then you run the uninstall macro that will wipe things out from Excel. Then after that, you can erase pick any name, that folder. Now that we have all the required files, we want to make sure that Excel accepts Kate. To do that, we open any Excel sheet. I just open a blank one, book one. Now we're going to have to go to File, Options, Trust Center. And what we wanted to do here is to add that folder, pick any name that I created containing all the files required by Kate and its subfolder at ends. We want to have these two, the folder and the subfolder, added to the Trust Center. So click Trust Center, Trust Center Settings, Trusted Location, and we want to add a new location. Browse and find that directory that I had just created, which is in Pick Any Name. So I wanted to add that directory that I just created, and all the subfolders. I'm really risk averse, so it doesn't hurt to also add the subdirectory. So I'm going to add the subfolder also. So we have here, there, pick any name, and the subfolder pick any name slash add in included in the trust center. Now Excel is ready to accept Kate. So you have to do this. This is important. Before you install Kate, you go to the web, find the zip folder, download this zip folder, unpack it into a folder that you can name anything. I named mine, pick any name. Unzip it. Then you have to make sure that Excel acknowledges that folder. So you have to go and do the steps that I just showed you to include the folder, pick any name, and the subfolder, pick any name slash add-ins in the trust center. Since I have done that, now Excel knows Kate. So now we can install. Go to Install Kamakura Analytic Tools, double click, left click. So you can cancel if you don't want to install. We want to do it. OK again. you a menu of all the available tools, analytical tools available in Kate. And I'm going to pick a few ones. Word map, extract text, scatter plot, and partially squares regression. That's an example. Okay. Boom. Done. Click OK to exit. And now we have already Kate installed in your machine. But before we can use Kate, there's still another very important step to make sure that Excel will read Kate. You have to go to the folder that you create. In my case, I named it Pick Any Name. So go to that folder, open the Add-ins folder, and look for Kamakura Analytic Tools, this particular macro here. Kamakura Analytic Tools 2010 XLAM. Right-click and check Properties. And you can see here that right now, this particular macro is blocked. In other words, for security reasons, Excel won't open it. This particular macro is very important because that's the one that will show you the menu with the available tools that you installed. So you need to unblock it. If you did not unblock this, if it is blocked and you open any Excel sheet, you're not going to find the add-ins and you're not going to find Kate as one of the add-ins. So you need to unblock it, unblock it, apply. Now you can see that it's already unblocked. It doesn't say that it has been blocked. 
Now we can go back and open the example. So after installing, I went to the directory, to the add-in subdirectory, search for Kamakura Analytic Tools, right-clicked to make sure that it's not blocked. So there's nothing here saying that this particular macro is blocked because I already unblocked it. So now when you open the example sheet or any other sheet, you should be able to see the add-ins directory. There it is. So let me take one example. This is the example sheet with one data sample for each one of the tools available. I'm going to just use the data for a simple scatter plot with labels. This is something that I don't know how to do in Excel, so I wrote a macro for it. It does an XY scatter plot and it automatically attached labels to each one of the dots. I'm going to go to Add-ins, Chemical Analytic Tools. It lists all the available tools, but of course we did not install all of them, but I know that I installed scatter plot with labels. Have to highlight the range. It asks whether or not you wanted to jitter the labels a little bit if they overlap. You can either draw the traditional scatter plot with labels by the right of each dot, or you can jitter the labels a little bit. And this is less than perfect. You can see here that some of the labels were jittered, but way too far from where they used to be. But you can always do this adjustment by hand. And this is how you installed Here's an example of this particular problem in Portuguese. Now, to identify the problem and find the solution, you need to have a full installation of Excel that grants you access to developer mode. So you have to be able to see when you open an Excel sheet, you should be able to see this developer tab. If you don't see it, you have to find out how to do a full installation of Excel. And if you don't know how to edit macros, you probably want to ask for help from somebody who has already done something like that. So if you have access to developer mode, you should now run the installation macro again, and you're going to run into the same error message. And the error message is associated with this, highlighted in, in yellow here. So this is the code inside the installation macro. And it's trying to identify the location of analysis tool pack. And you're getting this message because the macro cannot find it. And it's saying that in a language that is not English, it's going to tell you, I cannot find this particular file. And most likely it's because this file, analysis tool pack, in your language or the language of your Excel version, is not called analysis two pack. It's called something in that particular language. So you have to edit this macro. Install Kamakura Analytic Tools dot Excel SM. You have to edit these lines, changing the name, the English name for the, the macros to the names, respective names in the language of your version of Excel. And after doing that, save it, run it again and hopefully it will go through. So again, this is only a fix for those of you who are using Excel in a language that's not English. And I hope this helped.